Welcome to the health education repair video. If you should ever have one of your banners lose the retractability or it won't re go back in like it used to, you'll have to rewind the spring tension that's here in the side. And in order to do that, we have to remove this end cap and rewind it, which I'll show you how to do in a moment. Just keep in mind that once this cap is loose, there is one problem we have to try to prevent. And that is on this side, where the axle comes through the other end cap. You notice the round axle here. It has a tendency to slip out. And then, of course, you have to take the spring tension out again and get it back. So once you start working on the other end, be very careful to keep some tension this way or it's possible even to just lift the, the thing, the, the banner up and do some of your work up this direction. To illustrate it to you, first of all though, I'm going to lay it back down. I use three tools for this process. I use just a simple basic Phillips screwdriver or for convenience I often use the powered one. Then I have a, a pair of vice grips which will lock onto this end piece here when I'm ready. And I also use a thin needle nose pair of pliers. That's all we need to do this. So let me get some of the screws out. Here's your end cap. And you see the five different screws here. It doesn't matter which ones you take out first. and they come out quite easily. Okay, we've got the five screws loose and I've been careful to make sure that I don't lose it from this over this far end over here. So I've kept some pressure and I'm going to slip this cap off now and normally if it was wound up that would go spinning but because this has lost its tension it's not. Now my job is to get a hold of this little flat piece and I take my vice grips and I grab a hold of it about halfway up like so. Need a little bit more tension here. There. And I'm going to keep some pressure on it so that I won't lose it from the other side and I'm going to turn it about 15 or 20 clockwise revolutions. You'll notice as I'm turning it in just a moment, the banner itself will start to tighten up as it's feeling the tension. You don't stop just because the banner gets up here to the top. You want to keep going until you get at least about 15 and you feel you've got a pretty good resistance there so that when you pull the banner all the way out next time, it'll come all the way back in. All right, so now I've got it about where I want to have it. Now if I let go of this, it would go spinning. Now I take my needle nose pliers behind here and grab hold of it so I can take off the vice grips. That allows me then to take the cap and be able to slip it on. I must be very careful or I'll lose it from this other side right now. So I slip my cap on, fitting it to that flat hole, and that will catch it so it can't spin out of control. And then I slip off. Okay. So I've removed the vice grips now and I've transferred to the needle nose pliers so I can get back behind the end piece and I want to put on the end cap now and notice how it's it's caught that little end piece here that the axle and because it's flat it won't go anywhere as long as I hold the cap on firmly if I let go of it it would spin of course because it has that spring tension now all I have to do is to start put back the five screws 
And if I'm careful to keep tension on here, I won't lose the other side from the axle. Okay, so we're just finishing putting on the last screws to tighten up the five on the end. And we double check. This is that there. And this side has still got the pin where it belongs. Now I take a hold of the center and just check to make sure I've got good tension. And as you can see, the banner's working good and retracts very well. That's all we're looking for. And you're back in good shape. And this should run you for years to come. God bless you and your ministry.